You've been wandering through the hot desert for several hours, trying to find a unique artifact. The sun seems to be shining more and more brightly with every minute. You have enough supplies of water and food, but not enough information about the object you're looking for. You check the compass, look at the horizon, and suddenly, something blinds you. It looks like a beam of light reflected from a mirror. Yeah, you found it! You run toward it and notice some red rocks. In the middle of the desert, far from civilization, there's a majestic metal monument. It's dug into the ground. The sun is warming its surface. You walk around it and take a few photos. Perhaps this is a technology from another planet. Let's try to study it. On November 18th, 2020, a group of biologists observed sheep in southeast Utah. They arrived at a small desert and watched the animals from a helicopter. It was not far from the area with red rocks. During the flight, one of the scientists noticed a strange shine coming from an unusual object. They landed and discovered a shiny metal monolith, rectangular in shape. It stood among the rocks, dug into the ground upright. The object was about 12 feet tall and 23 inches thick. There was a triangular prism made of stainless steel at its top. The whole monolith looked like some technological device with unknown functions. Biologists took a photo and posted it on the internet. These images became viral. People from all over the world wanted to see the artifact, but none of the scientists revealed its exact location. The fact is that the monolith was installed in a remote area, away from roads and cities. People could easily get lost trying to get there or fail to find their way back. The monolith didn't release any electromagnetic or radio waves. It was made of ordinary metal alloys. There was actually nothing unusual about it. No one had dropped it from the sky. In general, it was just a beautiful piece of metal. But why was it standing here? Scientists couldn't answer. The biologists left this place. The mysterious monolith was left alone again in the middle of the desert. But not for long. Social media users managed to figure out the coordinates of this place. Hundreds of people came there, but didn't find the monolith. Only a triangular prison lay in the dust on the ground. Someone took the monolith. Who was it? No one knows. Then, such monoliths began to appear in other places around the world. One was found in the state of Atlanta, and another monolith appeared in Compton Beach, England. Someone put up a third monolith in Romania. They always appear unexpectedly and disappear just as suddenly. No one has ever seen people install them or take them away. But when the information about the monoliths spread worldwide, some people came out as their creators. It was a group of anonymous artists called The Most Famous. They said they were the creators of the monoliths in Utah and California, and that they had sold those sculptures for $45,000. Apparently, other monoliths were also created by these artists. Now we're going to another desert, somewhere in Southern California. There's only dried up land with a thin layer of sand, gray thickets of thorny bushes, and the scorching rays of the Californian sun. Somewhere in the distance, you notice a mirage. Many people who wandered through the desert without water said they had seen a fake lake in the distance. It was an illusion created by the sun, hot air, refraction of light, and their brain wanting to get a sip of water. So you also see a mirage now, but it's not a lake. It's a pool. You run closer and realize that this is not an illusion. In the middle of a hot desert, someone installed a pool with clean, cool water. You could be swimming there and probably even drinking this water if people hadn't destroyed this pool. One artist built it in the summer of 2014 and posted several photos on the internet, but without the coordinates. Many tourists tried to find it, but only a few succeeded. They took photos of the pool and left. But then, someone destroyed it completely. There has been no water there for many years, and the whole structure has gotten covered with sand and rust. Now let's visit a scary place. We're in the Czech Republic, in the small village of Lukova. We're walking through small, clean streets, passing by beautiful, cozy houses, and going to the edge of town closer to the forest. Among the trees, you notice an old chapel. This building is abandoned. 
Old brick, faded paint on the walls, rust. It looks pretty creepy. You go inside and freeze in horror. You see people there. Each of them is covered with a white sheet. They're just standing there, unmoving. Some of them are sitting on benches, but you don't see their faces. Eh, don't worry, they're not phantoms. These are plaster statues. In 1968, locals stopped visiting this chapel because of the collapsing roof. In 2014, one artist made this frightening installation and thus attracted many tourists. But still, the locals hope that soon the chapel will be restored. If you want to go to space, you don't have to become an astronaut. All you need to do is come to Bolivia, to the Uyuni Salt Flats. Imagine a clear night sky where you can see millions of stars and even other galaxies. Lower your head and you will see the same picture. The whole cosmos is reflected under your feet. You can't see the edge of this place and can barely make out the horizon line. You'll find yourself floating in the boundless blue sky if you come here during the day. This is the biggest mirror in the world. Its length is about 80 miles, almost three times the size of Manhattan. Unlike the other things in this video, this one was created by nature. The place is covered with a salt marsh. After the rain, a thin layer of water forms on this salty surface and reflects the sky. This is one of the most beautiful places on the planet, so make sure to go there. Now, we're in the green forests of Scotland. Walking through this place, you may not notice human silhouettes among the trees and bushes. These silhouettes are motionless. It's like they're waiting for something. All of them are covered with a special material that reflects the forest surrounding them. Famous Scottish sculptor Rob Mulholland made these statues from plexiglass, the kind of glass that functions as a mirror. Six sculptures are united in one installation called Vestige. Rob wanted to show that people who lived in forests many years ago were united with nature. They were part of the green world, and their lives depended on the state of the forest and harvest. That's why they're so beautiful in the summer and creepy in the winter, when slush, snow, and bare trees get reflected in them. Here's a sculpture of a woman standing on a huge log as thick as a train. This is what the tiniest statue in the world looks like. This log she's standing on is just a strand of human hair. Imagine how small this sculpture is. It's impossible to see it without a microscope. South African artist Jan T. Hurwitz created it. After people took several pictures of this statue, it disappeared from the hair. Only Yanti's fingerprint remained on it. The artist doesn't reveal how he made such a piece of art, but some say that he used nano resin. This is not his only work. You can find his other projects on the internet. This giant sculpture is in India. It's called the Statue of Unity. It's twice as tall and several times more massive than the Statue of Liberty. This is the image of Sardar Vallabhai Patel, one of the founders of India. It was built in the fall of 2018 and is still the most giant statue in the world. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.